All right, guys, welcome back to another copy trading video. If you're still struggling turning a profit with copy trading, this video is definitely for you. You're going to need to find consistent, profitable wallets for you to be profitable. And there's two ways you can do this. You can either find them yourself manually, which I'll show you, or you can use DHBot, which I've been using a lot now. It's a very powerful tool, which literally does all the work for you. And you can find profitable wallets in just a click of a button. We're going to get to that in just a sec. On Axiom over here, and if you guys aren't familiar with Axiom, it's the most powerful meme coin platform out there right now. The link will be down below for you in my description. You want to head over to new pairs. You can do this on any final stretch, migrate it. We'll just do it on new pairs right now. It works for all. You want to go to metrics. You want to put volume 200,000. And the reason we're doing this is we're trying to find coins that have been traded quite a bit, not coins that just died out right off the bat from launch. Now, I already have that set. You go to metrics again. You can even raise it to 300,000. It doesn't really matter. Just have a nice high number. So now we can take a look and we can take a look. There's a coin more that didn't die out. There's a coin here called MCHN, Magon China Edition. And we can take a look what's going on. So first thing I look at, this one I wouldn't do because it just got rubbed. We're going to take a look at another one. We can take a look at Japanese Fark one, which, okay, this one is a more organic chart. So you want to find a chart like that, like this, that, you know, has ups, da ups, downs, ups, downs. You know, it's been traded. Next thing you do is you go to top traders. And the reason we do that is because where are you going to find the best guys? You're going to find them in the top trader section. I usually look through the first 10. And if I don't find anything good, I move on to the next coin. So what you do here is you would open up all 10 of these onto SoulScan just by doing what I'm doing here, by clicking here. And once we do that, we're going to let them load. The next thing you would do is you would go through all of these wallets and you would try to see if you can find anything good. I already did the work for us, but this is what you would do. You take this, copy it, go to GMGN or whatever platform you like to use to analyze wallets and paste it and do your research. I did the work already and I found three wallets that are decent and we're going to take a look at them from these guys that we just opened. We have this wallet right here that, you know, off first glance already looks good. When you see more green, pretty nice. Hit a pretty good trade here. 500%, you know, you would have been a happy camper if you caught that not that long ago, actually less than an hour ago. You can look through the trades going here. Same thing. I like to look at first thing. I like to see if the return is good. And I like to see the win rate above 60%. I've noticed with my copy trading journey, when I copy wallets that have 60% or more win rate, I tend to do better and I tend to be profitable versus even like if it's a 50% or 40% wallet. And here we have another wallet. 70% and looks pretty good. He had a pretty big trade here, thousand percent. And you can go even further and you can back test them. And I'll show you in just a sec how to do that. The next thing you can do is head over to Axiom, go to trackers, go to wallet manager. And now we can add this new wallet that we're, we want to potentially copy trade, put the wallet address here. We're going to put the name as new, add them in. Now we can see him over here. We can click on scan address here and it'll show you these different tabs. You can do active positions, so history, you can look at the last trades he's been in, top 100, activity, all these good stats they have here for you. So you can open up their last six trades. I already have them opened up. You can go to 10, you can go to 20, go as far back as you like until you feel comfortable copy trading them. I got six opened up here. You can get like a bird's eye view on what happened here. Clearly you can see he bought here, he sold here, lost about 30%. Here he bought twice, ended up Selling here, definitely made a profit. No question about it. And moving forward here, like nothing really happened. He just bought and sold. Looks like break even. Here's where he made a crazy amount of money. He bought right over here somewhere and sold. Let's actually zoom in. He bought actually like right here. He bought like right here. This is the one where he made a thousand percent. This was a really good trade for him. And moving forward here, he made a little bit of money. So you can get, get a kind of a feel on what kind of trader he is and how he performs and see if you're comfortable copy trading him. Now heading over to DEDGEBOT, not only does it allow you to find profitable wallets to copy trade, it also allows you to analyze wallets, as you can see here, and it generates you a report. If you guys are interested in this bot, the link will be down below for you in my video description. Go ahead and check it out. I'll teach you how to read these reports. This is the wallet we we're just looking at. All you got to do is copy, paste it like this, click enter. I already did it for us. I'll teach you how to read this. This is in the last 15 days. This wallet has traded eight times. This is the amount of winners, losers, the win rate, which is very similar to what we're looking at on GMGN. They have one open trade and the distribution of 
trades PL and percentiles, I'll teach you how to read this. Their worst trade was negative 35%, and their best trade was 1100%. And in between, I'll teach you how to read these as well. 10th percentile, what does that mean? The 10th percentile basically means that 10% of their trades did either negative 29% or worse. The 25th percentile means that 25% of their trades did either negative 7% or worse. And the 50th percentile, this is the middle trades. This basically means that 50% of the trades did either better or worse than 11%, so either or. And the 75th percentile basically means that 25% of the trades, it did 49% or better. And the 90th percentile means that 10% of the trades did 494% or better. That's basically how you read this. It's a bit confusing at first, but once you get the hang of it, you know, it's pretty easy to read. And it also gives you all this other useful information, average PL, PL ratio, sold spent, sold received. Right now he's in a negative. It looks like he's a losing trader, but he's not. He's actually holding, he has one open trade. He's holding about $23,000 in USDC coins. He's actually not in the negative. He's just holding a bunch of one single coin. You always want to double check when you're looking at this, if they have any active open positions. The distribution of deltas in percentiles, this is how long they hold the trades in seconds. It's exactly the same to this. It's the same concept, but in seconds. Let's give you an example of the first one. 10% of the trades that they buy, they hold for 31 seconds or less. 25%, 70 seconds or less, and so on. Now, heading over to the fun stuff over here on the edge. When you go to forward slash start, I'll bring you to this page here, and you have three options into finding wallets. So you can either use the wallet finder, the curated wallets, which basically just means that you have a higher chance of finding a profitable wallet. And you have a filtered wallet section here, which basically means you can set your own filters. And whenever you click this, it's going to go over your filters and find a wallet that way. We're going to start with the wallet finder here. Click it and see what happens. Usually it just takes a couple of seconds to generate us a wallet. Right here, we found this wallet. Win rate is almost 50%. Not a horrible wallet. We have 700 trades, unique trades, 290 winners, 326 losers, a bunch of open trades. We can see that the best trade was 400%. The worst trade was 75%. Now let's go ahead and click on the curated wallets and see what happens. I click on this. Again, right off the bat, really good percent and win rate. I like that. We have a lot of trades. The more trades, guys, I notice the better. Find a wallet with a good win rate that's been trading a lot and that means they're consistent. Here we can see the best trade in the last 15 days was 262%. The worst trade, it went to zero. And as we can see here, he actually likes to hold his trades a lot. He doesn't just buy and sell quickly. He holds them for quite a bit. These are re two really good functions they have where you can find profitable wallets that you could potentially copy trade. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at their filtered wallet section, which is personally my favorite. This is a wallet it just generated for me. Yeah, as you can see here, it has a very high win rate. Their worst trade was 37%. Their best trade was almost 10,000%, which is pretty crazy. And going forward, it generated me this wallet right here as well. You know, pretty decent looking, nothing too crazy. And it also generated this wallet right here, which best trade was 4,000% in the last 15 days. The filtered wallet section is definitely my favorite. I'm going to show you how to use it. We're going to generate a new report and I'm going to show you how to adjust the filters. So it just generated me a new wallet on the filtered wallet section. Be pretty decent looking. Let me show you how to adjust the filters. So go to adjust filters down here and here are the settings you can change, and here's how you can change them. So you can change the PL ratio, the win rate, the 50th percentile, which I was showing you guys earlier, and the trading activity, how long they hold their trades in seconds, and the amount of close trades they have even. I think I left this on default, and I just changed this. I'll show you how to do that. So you just copy this. Let's say I want to change it to 300%. I'll just put that in, put a space, and type in 300. And now, as we can see, it changed. Let's say I want to change the win rate to, let's say, 70%, we can do that by going here, typing in 70, and now it's updated. Now when we click filtered wallet, you'll see that it'll only give me 70% win rates. And as we can see here, generated us this wallet with a pretty high PNL ratio actually. This is a very good tool guys to find wallets, especially wallets that are profitable for copy trading. I highly recommend. Here's a very good wallet that I got off the edge. And it has been profitable for me. I'm going to show you how to set it up on TradeWiz, the copy trade. You want to take the wallet address, copy it, head over to TradeWiz. If you guys aren't 
familiar with TradeWiz, this is by far the best copy trading bot that is out there. I'll leave the link down below for you in my video description. And the reason for that is because it's the fastest. And when it comes to functionality, it just has everything you need. All the options you want to change, you can do it on TradeWiz. We're going to start from the start page and hit copy trade here. Now you want to click on add. Now you're going to want to click on tag. This is where you put the name for the wallet. We're going to name it solid wallet. Then over here, you want to put in the wallet address, the wallet I just showed you. And here's where you put your buy amounts. So let's say I want to buy 0.2 each time. I put 0.2 for both of them. It will only buy 0.2 per copy trade. Next, each token buy times. This is very important. Let's say the wallet you're copy trading is buying three or four times per trade, but you only want to copy the first buy. You simply click this and put one and it will only copy trade the first buy and won't copy trade the other buys that your wallet's doing. Unrenounced, don't buy. Unburnt, don't buy. These are safety precautions to keep your account safe. Next, copy sells. If you leave this on true and they sell like 25% of their position, it'll sell 100% of your position. If you want to copy trade their sales by position ratio, you want to turn this on true. What that means is let's say the wallet you're copy trading is taking profits. The trade is going very well. You will take profits with them. That's a very good function they have here. You can leave that on true. Here's where you can adjust your gas fees. And there you have auto retry over here. Let's say the first transaction failed. You can actually auto retry up to three times, which is a really cool feature they have here. And as well, you can adjust your slippage here. I usually leave mine on 20% and don't have too many issues with it. Once you're happy with your settings, click create. And that's it. Now we're currently copy trading this wallet. We are officially on Discord now where we're going to be doing a bunch of live streams for you guys here. As well, we do have a crypto discussion group on Telegram. Feel free to join both groups. The links will be down below for you in my video description. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.